everyone, Denise here. Today I am bringing you a crochet hook set that comes in this bag. This is by My Bag Zing, designed with the earth in mind, tag printed on recyclable material that comes on the bag when you get it. Uh, this is designed, I got this on Amazon, this is designed to stand up on your desk. So I'm going to open it up, show you what's inside. This I will get to in one second here uh, once it's open. So it's a, a lightly quilted material, has nice zipper pulls on it, has a nice bottom to where you can open it up and stand it up. So open it up here. Now this side is designed to fold down. It's got a nice handle right here. This side is designed to fold down. And then you take the buckle or the snap. And you snap it to that and then it can stand up. Now the back is heavy, full of hooks, but if you stuck some yarn in there, you'd probably be good to go. Also, so there's this clear pouch in the middle where you can put stuff. There's a mesh pouch here. It came with some stitch markers. And then if you turn it on this side, there's more spots for hooks. So I thought that was genius. I think this is like a to-go, like put your skin of yarn in there. You have all of your hooks. If you have like a little pair of scissors to stick in here, tape measure, this is a project bag. <laughs> like it doesn't even have to be just a hook case. It can be a project bag. Let me grab a smaller thing of yarn. Here's a Premier Everyday. This is an older one, but it's, you know, a normal size, right? You can pop it in here. Then you can zip it up, obviously with your project, if it's not big, then you could zip it up and you're good to go. Uh, that also helps it to stand up better. So I thought this was cool. Now I'm going to try the hooks, see how they work, uh, go over all the the specs on them, let you know the quality of them. You can buy this with or without the hook set. So I will link both of them below. They're both on Amazon. I am not affiliated. So let me um, try some of the hooks out. Okay, I'm going to pull my project bag in here. I'm going to scoot this over a bit so I have room to work. So the the hook set, let's talk about the hook set real quick. I'll take this out. Hook set, we have 2.25, two 2.75, 3.25, 3.75, 4, 4.55, 5.56, 6.5, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Really good range of hook sizes. So this is uh, identical to the ones that I have been getting. Oh look, it has it printed on this side and depossed on that side. Cool. So if you don't like reading debossed, it's always going to be there, right? There's uh, it printed on here, which eventually would rub off, but this will still be here. See, it's smearing. Uh, it's a silicone grip. Hook heads are just like the ones I get with my amigurumi. That is what I was trying to say. They're not, I, I mean, I like these hooks. They're smooth. They're the hybrid head, and I'll show you in the bigger sizes because they are harder to see in the smaller ones. Great range of hooks. How many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Fourteen hooks. That is a great, great set right there. 3.25. I love silicone grips, they're nice. And as the sizes get larger, so do the handles. Very nice, I mean, I will link below what I paid. 
but I think the bag is worth at least half to plus of that. The hooks are just a nice added bonus, especially if you don't have enough. But if you've been watching my videos recently, you know I definitely have enough. Don't you hate it when you go to buy hooks and they don't show the side of the hook to you? It makes me so sad. Show me what I'm buying. So this is what the hook looks like. It's a hybrid hook or what I would call a hybrid hook. Hybrid meaning. It is not a clover. It is not a boy. It's not any of the above, but it's somewhat of a combo. Let's zoom in here. I hate the shadow. So we have hook. Let me grab a couple to compare to so you're having an idea of what you're purchasing. This is a Clover Amore. Similar, but not to the point of, hey, that's exactly right. And then we have Boy, which is further away. Okay, I got it. So you can see there's kind of this bulk here like a boy. Boy comes down further. Boy is its own thing. I've said it a million times. But it does have some similarity with the Clover Amour. The way the throat is done is very similar. They are all tapered hooks. So you can see why I would call it a hybrid. It's, it's pretty much, if these two had a baby, it would be this. <laughs> so that is why I call it a hybrid because it is a, a product of sort of both. I like it. I like hybrid hooks. I use them often. Uh, these hook heads are nice. Um, they are Pretty well set in there. I think there was some movement down at the end. Uh, whoops, I won't say they're perfect, but if there's a little movement there, you can eventually have some moving, but you can move it back obviously when you're working with it. See, that one's not straight on. Better. So you may have to adjust, but like I said, the bag is the reason that I got this set. The hooks are just a little bonus. But the hook heads are smooth thus far. I mean, I like them. I always like the bigger sizes because they come in the bigger grip. That one looks off-centered. That's definitely off-centered. See, this should be straight up and it goes off to the left just a smidge. A little better. Just trying to hold the hook and turn, but it's not easy to do. I just don't want to mar it, you know what I mean? Like I'm not going to get a... I'm not going to get a plier and mar it. I'm going to try to use my shirt. Baltimore Oriole is singing to us. It is 11 a.m. in my world. Yeah, I'm not getting it. Not without a plier, probably. So when they're set, they're set pretty darn good, which is not useful if they're not set properly, right? We only meant two though. That one's good. Oh, feels the top. Let's 
you can see that there's nicks. Oops, you can see that there's nicks, but I don't, I don't feel them. I like that they're all different colors. It's nice and chunky, nine millimeter. And the largest is a 10. Boy, that sure looks gargantuan. I like them. I think they're decent. Other than the ones that are slightly off centered, the two. I'm gonna move some over to this side. They are just way too heavy to have on one side. Ah, uh, my project. What is my project call for? What was I using? 5.5. So what did I just put in here? A 4.5. So I will take the 5.5 out. That's a 5. That one's a 5.5. See if I can off balance the, uh, the weight so that it can quit trying to fall over. This is, there's a lot of room for hooks here. What did I say? 14 on that side alone, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then you can put scissors and needles in there. So a lot. Oh, I unbuckled. That's part of the problem. It's still too heavy in back. And I think it's just because those are the heaviest hooks there are. Get in there. There we go. Yeah, need something in the middle. That's not bad though separating them out. You can fit a lot of hooks in here. Uh, a couple of things of yarn, like you got a to-go bag for like uh, traveling or whatever. Uh, this bag has a project in it. I've been working on testing out pattern. This is a Jane Wynn design. So if you're not familiar with Jane Wynn, I have featured her on my channel. She has an Etsy shop. She also has a YouTube. I'll link both of them below. Excellent bag maker. See the inside of that bag? Perfect. Perfect. It's a drawstring bag. She makes all kinds of different bags, but I fell in love with this flower material. I purchased this quite a while ago. Uh, the one good thing about her, well, more than one good thing, but one of the things that I love about her bags is that you can use them as yarn bowls because she makes them so well fold them over. She always makes the outside match the inside. She's just so good at what she does. So Jane Wynn, awesome lady. Um, really appreciate her. She's been around many years and I followed her for many years. I think the first bags that I bought from her were 2019. So love Jane. This is the 5.5, the eye hook. I think this one was slightly off, but it looks okay to me. So I'm going to use it for a little bit. I'll probably just fast forward, you know, so you don't have to sit and watch me work. And I'll come back to you with thoughts and uh, noteworthy things. I'm going to rub it on my t-shirt a little bit because it feels like it's dragging. Typically, if you clean your hooks before you use them, you don't have that problem, but I didn't think about that. I rub it on my t-shirt and then uh, if I have lotion on my hands, I will sometimes put lotion on it and uh, smooth it up. 
typically rubbing it on any sort of smooth or soft surface will help. Yeah, that does help. I just realized I was doing my pattern all wrong. <laughs> so I'm probably going to stop and, and probably pull out what I did. But hooks are good. Hooks are just like all the other ones that you can get on Amazon. Uh, nothing wrong with them other than the couple that were turned just slightly. This one and... What was the other one? The blue one? No. Purple? Purple. Purple and brown. Light purple and the darker brown. So I think it's, I mean, I think it's a cool bag. Like I said, the, the hooks are, are extra. You can fit quite a bit in there. And then you have, I just love their zipper pulls. They're, they're just really nice. A vinyl nice pouch in between and then you have the uh, mesh on this side I just think it's a, a smart idea see it's standing up really nice now so really good idea from my bag zing I like it I like it a lot they have different colors I got the light pink because I've been on a pastel kick for quite a while now as you can see on my Jane windbag um, Jane came to mind, not only because I'm using her bag, but I just purchased some bags from her shop. So I will be giving her another feature video coming up when I get them. I'll probably pull out all of my bags from her that I can find. I, I think I have one for every season, honestly. If not, I'll make it a point to get them. Uh, but I'll link her below, both her YouTube and her her shop because I think she's a wonderful lady and those that I watch and I enjoy I like to share with you so that you can enjoy as well especially when they're talented like she is someday I've said this before someday I want to grow up and be as good as a sewer as she is because I'm trying but Although I've been sewing for like 20 plus years, I still am not as skilled as she is. So, uh, although this video is not about Jane, here is the hook set. I will link it below. I think it's cool, guys. I'm not affiliated. I don't have an Amazon affiliate link for anything. When I provide you Amazon links, it's just because this is a thing that I found and I thought you'd be interested in. Uh, it's no skin off my toes, nose, ears. If you purchase or not purchase, it, do it doesn't matter. Um, I'm just sharing with you what I think is cool. So this is cool. I think it is creative and quality and very nice. So uh, thank you very much for watching. Go check them out if you're interested. I think it's cool. I think I'll probably fill it with some of my favorite hooks and uh, have it be my to-go bag because I like it a lot. So this is how I ended up in the bag. I put the I put the Pioneer Woman hooks over here, and then I put the Yarness hooks from Amazon over here, and then on this side I put my. Susan Bates twist and lock and these guys fit in here perfectly look at that it's like it was made for it it's crazy how good it fits I love that I could also stick yarn needles in there but I I don't want to do that because I'll probably end up losing them and I don't want to lose them I lose them enough and then these are the Dollar Tree dollar hooks that I reviewed on the channel have a pen in the middle 
And then I have this little corgi notebook that I was gifted by my son and daughter-in-law. And then in my pouch here, I have stitch markers and stuff in here. Instead of the hook heads, I had these in there, I had those in there, but I switched it out and put um, stitch markers in there and then a pair of scissors that I was gifted and a tape measure. So I'm good to go. This is a great to go set. I don't think I'm missing anything as far as to go stuff that I usually take. So that is what I ended up with in my cool bag, my bag zing. So this is gonna be my like grab and go set. When, when I don't have a set in a bag, this is gonna be my grab and go and put in whatever bag. Because I only have, I, I think, five-ish to go bags. Because the hooks that I have back here, I don't take with me anywhere. So it's just these kind of hooks that I take with me places. So yeah, this will be my my main to-go bag when I don't have one in a bag. Anyway, I just want to let you know what I did with it because I said I was going to do something with it. So take care, guys. Until next time, bye.